Hey, Jade. Hey, you're fine. No worries. That just means Dizzy or whoever else can grab the other one. Pupper. Did Gemma? Did Gemma? Or puppy? Just a heads up if I need to, I might be ending stream early because of outside influence. comes back and she didn't leave. Dim dim. Here you go, dim dim. <whistles> Sorry. Oh, she ran off. She's a silly pup. I will redeem the pet dog, although I give her pets all day. Silly 
Really, girl? Tired. Hey, Alex, welcome in. Excited to see you, man. Really am. And I agree with that. I bet. Hey, sorry, Dizzy. Okay, Jade, Dizzy, spam the heart emotes for Alex. He here. He made it. Nightbot, why did you break? Yeah, just let it out. We're here for you, Alex. I like that terminology there, uh, Dizzy. I really do. It's putting up a really good fight.
Exactly. You're here, we can talk to you, and we can listen and help. As much as we can, anyway. I would rather take turn this into a just chatting just to let you air it out or whatever you need to do and let you know you have friends, Alex. I happen to know Jade loves listening to people talk and vent out. There's another person you can definitely chat with, Alex, if you need to. I know me and her are of the same mind. I would much rather stay up until as late as humanly possible, letting you air out whatever you need to air out, versus hear about something worse happening to you. I'm happy to switch over to things like Stardew or even a uh, power wash simulator just to have whatever needs to happen. be a thing or power I can get you power wash simulator don't matter to me none I am always open to changing plans playing a different game doing whatever else we need to do Pondo, you're late.
So what shall we do? Even if you want to just chat with Jade or something else, I don't care. We're here for you, Alex. It's always delayed. Bah. I should get the Pondo set up on the, in the same spot on my uh, just starting screen now that I think about it. But if the chat's quiet for a while, it does that again. Okay, everybody, pull up a chair. Maybe I won't let you down. <laughs> like Copper Bell or something like that? I'd be down for that. Actually, I kind of also want to make the push for Heaven's Word, but easy dungeons allow me to talk. Where are my other classes at? I'm inside, um, I'm in Mordona. can do that actually here's the question who wants to do what because I do have other classes that I want to level as much as I want to make the push for heaven's word This one doesn't have that set up. Fair enough. Really not a fan of this glam. Okay. Hello. Hello. Before the echo hits me. I'm sorry, but having your stream up and you and voice chatting creates the weird echo. I am standing on air currently. I see this. even high enough to do Weeping City. 
Oh, I was just resetting some of my stuff. Now that reminds me, I have to do my book too. Because I want to do the book. Well, some of the stuff I can't join you on, so there's that. I know. Not high enough. Which is enough. why I was getting rid of the okay with losing Weeping City, because you're not high enough for that. And I figured if I'm gonna... And not far enough in the story. Yeah. So if I... I kind of figured if I was gonna do that kind of stuff, I... <laughs> I see a dizzy. If I can not yawn. I see a Jason. need an Alex. Fair enough. I hear you. I get that. I will agree with one thing that Ray and all them were saying. This game is a roller coaster ride when it comes to emotions. But sometimes that's the best part. <laughs> KG! Welcome in! Hey KG, how you doing? Right. I feel like I need to... How you doing, KG? Okay, you're level 50, so I don't think I have anything that could help you. Sorry. Well, no, no, it's exactly not the gear. The, the it literally on. is not the gear, it's the glam. I'm doing yeah. alright. I understood that, see, but I, I don't think I have anything that could help you. Most of my stuff is too, really too low leveled for glam usage. Some of the glam stuff is level <laughs> one, what do you mean? Just a lot of my glams don't actually look good. <laughs> well, a lot of my equipment doesn't look good as a glam, is what I should be saying. Mm. I did that wrong. I love it. What's up, KG? Uh, I was going to do that next weekend. Oh, the group kind of fell apart, so I figured I'll do it next weekend. Weird dude. What do you mean, minus one week? I'm... I'm confused by the weird dude comment. A lot of people like Sage Dizzy. It's fairly simple ish. Uh, 
your main things are use of eucrasia and uh balancing out at all usage <laughs> a lot of people do i know that and actually it should be unlocking here soon but yeah i know that I was hoping to get P5S done, but, uh, you gone to bed, Ekam gone to bed, Ash wasn't gonna hop on, so, fine, I'll do it next weekend. By the way, Dizzy, if you have any questions about Sage, just ask me. I'm trying to literally make it. I wasn't gonna main, PF it and just... hope everybody knew what they were doing. Yeah, he said. Yes. Jason said. KG also mains healer. I'm just trying to get better as a tank right now, which is why I'm trying to level up Pally. I petted a pupper. I got it, the doggo. I pet the doggo. <laughs> I understand that. I don't think there are many people. No, you're not. KG. I don't know how to pally. <whistles> not at all. I, I'm not trying to main pally. I'm just leveling it up because it's a tank class and I want to get it better as a tank. Say that to PFC. What? I don't know how to pally. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, KG. Oh, are you talking about the whole, uh, you're not talking. I don't like PFs anyway, because they're all mostly trolls anyway. Like the guy that we had last night. Okay, I know I helped you through one, but I have no idea what happened the rest of the night. What do you mean? Oh, for, uh... No, I was talking about while we were doing freaking EX5. Oh, okay. I'm surprised he stayed for the whole thing. KG's coal healer. Yay! Yeah, but towards the end of the summer, you and I are gonna be, uh... Yeah. Elsewhere for a little bit. In July, we'll be disappearing for a week. Yep. Nice. Nice. I was surprised your co-healer stuck around there, uh... KG last night. Pixie Sticks or whatever their name was. <laughs> yes. Yes. We're just going on a family vacay. Well, that was my first time clearing it, so I don't know. Yeah. Oh, 
All right. Yeah, that's a that's an area we don't explore there, uh, Dizzy. Yeah, I know. The totems. <laughs> oh, that well, that's right. You were farming that for a while to try and get them out. I forgot. But yeah. Fair. Um. <laughs> you guys might explore that area, but we don't. <laughs> yes, you can cry. Yes, you can cry. <laughs> I have an Anamo on my shoulder. Cool. <laughs> Actually, I think I just got Midgard Slormer, too. Oh, Alex was uh, potentially going to join us for some uh... low level runs. Yeah, low level runs because uh, Dizzy wanted to do a couple of things today to try and learn Sage. Honestly, I think we should take him through Orum. Do I have Orum Veil? Vale? Let me double check that. <laughs> you might have uh, I time do. To go get it. Okay. Okay. Wait. I what? mean, it'd be the perfect thing for us to get through because I'm trying to learn Pally and apparently he's trying to learn Sage. That fix that. <laughs> I mean, I... I'm trying to remember. Last time I did P5S, was shortly after it came out and we got to I think just after Devour and I was with Iceheart I know some things might have changed Yes, that is kind of one of the important things to have. What chicken. the heck is this? Fire chicken. Fire chicken. Wait, who's fire chicken? I don't know. Met Frederickson. Whoever that is. Okay. What the? <laughs> okay. Who is this? <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused. Who's Matt Fredrickson? Um. Did you just get stream bombed? I, I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't call it a photo bomb. <laughs> that was random. <laughs> that was. That was really random. Um. Okay. <laughs> Is anybody else as confused as we are? I just got gifted a million gil. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that guy just randomly gave you a million gil. Uh huh. <laughs> I have no idea who that is, but that's cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna say. 
say no. You just... <laughs> okay. Randomly, a million gil. Just don't become an addict of Fanta. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody plays differently. I'm wondering if Alex is planning on joining us. Or yeah, I know. It's way expensive sometimes. <laughs> Tweaks, awesome! Thank you. I was totally like, "What? What the hell was that?" <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> that threw me off. I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting that at all, Tweaks. <laughs> that threw me for a loop. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Say less. Ah. You're good, man. Just confused, that's all. Yeah, I was like completely confused, but that's okay. <laughs> that was cool. Thank you. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, um, Alex, if you're still here, are you going to join us? That is a good question. Oh, thank you. Also, I need to go get that fire chicken. Are you waving to the paper I did? I have questions. Yay. Question is, Alex, are you still with us? Well, have fun there, Tweaks. See you later, man. Also, uh, if there's a mod in the channel, can we get a shout out for Tweaks? Well, I'm not a mod, otherwise I would. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Thank you, Jade. I 
sure he had said he was gonna come. Yeah, he said so, but I haven't seen or heard anything from him. Uh, anybody else seen this, uh, Lollafell's name? Baby what? No, it's Violent Element. Elemental. Violence Elemental. Interesting. I haven't seen Alex talk for a little bit, but that's okay. I'm worried a little uh, bit. Maybe we could do one quick one while we're waiting for him. Do like Copper Bell or even Hauk Manor. Okay. I don't know. Yes, there's a lot of you running around, Jade. A lot you guys of think Lala that would be alright? None who would escort me. Um I Stab question mark. I mean, I guess we can give it a shot. Um, Alex, if you're in, we are going to be doing one quick one while we're waiting for you, I guess. I didn't want to go too low for everybody. Cleopatra. I love that. Go go Raji, Mama Raji. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I love their uh F C tag. <laughs> Stab <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know. There's a question in there? He said he'd be on in a bit. Yep. Mute loops. Okay. Let's do this. Leveling. You guys mind that I'm level 30, so we're not going to get too high of a dungeon? Switch classes to be able to do any of the other ones. <laughs> hey, look, it's Holotully. No, that's not too bad. Now, don't I feel special?
You're going for broke, huh? Eh, I thought I'd try it. Okay. Well, this class is only level 32, so there's that. Oh, I just... I just was looking at why I didn't have my full combo, and it's because... One of them I don't actually get. Why are you over there? Come here. Stupid him. You're on me. Jump, 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 jump. If we can get this thing down fast enough, we don't even have to worry about it. I'll take that. Come on. Times like these, I wish I had one of my classes that had AOEs on it. I almost wish I had a stayed red mage. You wouldn't have had any of the AOEs. I did a little of a red mage. <laughs> you literally, anything below 40, you lose the AOEs. Go. I, I think it's 40. I have to double check that. I might be wrong about that. But I know by 20, you don't have the AOEs. J 
Jason, we have party uh, friends for you. Okay. Not bad. And here's and there's the electro lizard. The just mirror does this seem a little different? It is a little bit. Ah. Okay, fine. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. No. Mm Are you there, man? Yeah. You here, Alex? Wait, Dizzy, you've never done Halatali. That's gonna work. Keep him away from the, uh, little fires. I'm trying to, but I can't seem to get his attention. Get over here, dude. Oh, he doesn't move when he has the fire, that fire going. Got it. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I can't stand in that. No. And I don't recommend doing it for very long if you are. Level 54. Eh. I received a player comp. Hey, okay, now that we're done with that. Alex? You home, man? You there? Come on, man. I just want to say hi. It shows he's offline on Discord. He's been that way. Oh, Alex. Are you joining us, man? Heh, <laughs> dragon. we knew where to send the search party. Wait. Uh, usually, uh, uh one, either that or running through Nobunaga Oda. Um, sorry, <laughs> got distracted by somebody's name. <laughs> that was random, I know. <laughs> Timing on that. <laughs> that is one way to get used to it. The other one is doing deep dungeons. Because then you can play it one to top end. Actually, I got really used to it doing alliance raids of all things. Because I was using it almost all the time on alliance raids. Uh, but the best thing to do with, um, Sage is knowing when to switch between using Adder's Gall and using your Eucrasia and other stuff that actually costs MP. Because there is a balancing factor there. I don't know if C's noticed it, but there yeah, is. Yeah, I one. have. I just have to get mine down. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Uh, but that's the main thing about Sage is you need to find the balancing point. Hey, Alex, are you still here? Thank you, Jade. But yeah, I actually got mine, my better understanding through Alliance Raids. 
Although deep dungeons is a great idea. Dungeons are an okay idea. The reason why I liked the Alliance raids better is you have to, at least in my opinion, you have to think on your feet more. Have you unlocked uh, Palace of the Dead? That's a deep dungeon. So uh, the deep dungeons are Palace of the Dead, Heaven on High, and now right. Eureka Orthos. And the other bonus of them is, although not, less so for Sage, but um, they can help you level. But they are a great way to learn how to play the classes, because you start out at level 1 and you just keep leveling. It actually does quick levels for all of them, so... Uh-huh. You can gain two or three levels on uh, one floor per dungeon. But they don't translate. It has... Yeah. But also, I have maybe. learned to some degree, some of it you have to do versus, like, for com a lot of the combat classes, going up against a training dummy. Because then you learn each button. But for healing portions, that's a little harder. Yeah. That part you have to actually do in dungeon. Meow. I saw him hop on briefly. Yeah, I know he hopped on briefly. I'm just, I'm getting concerned. I am too. Alex. Okay. I don't have too many dungeons at my disposal on this character. I can swap to watch I'll switch to something that can cast and then we'll get like two casters. Big chain. Summoner is my main, but it's also level 55. I don't know, maybe he just wasn't feeling it tonight. You can always just send him a message in Discord. I did send him a message in Discord. He okay. hasn't responded to it yet, but I did send him one. Okay. Okay. 
was just a little worried because you haven't said anything in a while and we hadn't seen you. Oh, Jason's? I see what Dizzy's saying. <laughs> yeah, this character's palette and glam. Although I kind of want to replace the sword and shield. This isn't actually my final palette and glam. <laughs> My final paladin glam actually looks much better, but one piece of it is above 70, or actually a couple of pieces. So. Let's see if Dark Paladin. Yeah. More like Omega Paladin. Yes. This is actually my darker, one of my darker plans. Well, that's not too bad. This is actually the uh, Ifrit armor that I painted black because <laughs> I thought it fit the idea of a Dark Knight better. Yeah, I actually kind of like that sword. Mm -mm. I haven't leveled my ninja at all, so... Actually, the one I probably leveled the least, or one of the two I've leveled the least, <laughs> this is my Lancer. <laughs> and this is my Monk. Not much difference. <laughs> As you can tell, I have yet to level them. that they're trying to balance the job so people are more playing the jobs because they like them instead of because of other reasons. Oh, it's time to go back to Mordorna. I didn't see anything I wanted there. At least not on the market board yet. get this character to 50 before anything's actually gonna affect that. Okay, I just haven't found a healer that I actually enjoy just yet. I mean, I enjoy healer. I, well, I can't say that. I don't enjoy all the healers because I'm not a fan of Astro, but I do like the same. Sage is awesome. I actually like the Scholar, despite a lot of people apparently not liking that they hit hit it with the nerf hammer. Multiple times, apparently. Mm-hmm. Uh, mainly reason I like the Scholar is at level 80, you get to summon an, a Seraph, which is an angel. <laughs> so, I always thought that was kind of cool. Even if it's only around for a brief amount of time. I actually like uh, the Scholar more than I like Summoner. 
Alex, is that you, man? Yes, I see an Alex. It is an Alex. Hey, how you doing? Hugs, man? Alex. Nice to see you in chat. Yes. And Alex, I got a statement for you. You bother because you care about your friends. I saw your thing, so I just wanted to give you an answer. Hopefully that helps. Yet another broken world! Welcome in! Thank you so much for the raid! How are you? How was stream? Also, shout out. I can do that while we're waiting. you were enjoying it. I need to try that one actually. I forget to actually play that as well. Enjoying it right around. Lost a lot less than I was into. Fair. Fair. Do, 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 do. Ooh, actually, I have an idea. Once Alex gets here. Oh, we need a few more people. Hey, Alex is on. Yay! Uh, I, I see him. Plan is to two, eventually go through all the non-MMO Final Fantasies. Fair. I should do that myself. Be interesting. I need to go through seven because I need to actually complete the original seven. I completed seven. I want to complete uh, eight, and this time without accidentally deleting, uh, forgetting to save when I get Squall's ultimate weapon. <laughs> I was so sad when I did that. I could cry. Did all the work to gather Squall's the materials to make Squall's final weapon and died at Ultimisa and forgot to save. I actually got to Ultimisa. I didn't beat her because I wasn't high enough level to actually do that part. I didn't realize how strong she actually was going to be. I technically beat her the first time, but I lost a grief. I have played 7 through 15. I have played the first 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are going to be totally new. Nice! I forgot to click on you. 
Hey Alex, how you doing, man? By the way, I just wanted to show you real quick. I don't know if you saw it earlier, but this is my Lancer level. <laughs> this is me as a Lancer. I like that look. Uh, I really I do. I can only say I hope it gets better for you, man. We're all here for you. Yes. I give you hugs in game because I can't give you hugs in real life. I do worry because I care, though. And you can tell, ask Jade if you want, but if friend, when friends do that, and even family, I pretty much drop everything. <laughs> Dizzy. We have Cloud the Sage. Why? Why nope, KG? because I don't do Eureka all the time. Dude, she doesn't need to do Eureka to be cool. She can do other things. He's trolling. I know. We'll get to it when we get to it. Dude, I don't even like Eureka. <laughs> I am not a fan. KG. your opinion. No, you tease. Mellowed out a little bit.
jet top heavy. Okay. He said he didn't like his uh, uh, didn't like Eureka. It's his opinion. He's allowed. I mean, you're allowed to like it. I'm not telling you you can't like it. I'm just saying, you know, you gotta think of other people sometimes. Hey, Skippy! I mean, we all know Jay doesn't like it. Otherwise, he'd be in there all the time. <laughs> Hey Skippy, how you doing, man? Nameless Adventurer, okay, I like that one. Hey Skippy, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing pretty we're good. Doing fine. For Alex to get done with whatever he's doing. All right. <laughs> Not trying to rush him, just. Mm -hmm. Your project's on void before switching to FF. I saw you playing that. I know another friend who was playing that the other day. Wind up Porsche font. Porsche font! I got my own little puff of darkness. And that person was naked. That happens. I'm trying to jump through the Aetherite apparently. Well, whatever you do for fun. was more than one person. I kind of wish it was. There are so many mounts out there that should be more than one person and they aren't. <laughs> yeah. Alright. You should get this for Alex. That way he can magic carpet his way around. Which class do you want to work on, Alex? I can switch. No good friends, right? Right. That's why I said I'd buy him his own. <laughs> Just send him a gift mount of the magic carpet. What do you think, Alex? Would you like your own carpet? would be nice. Alright. I feel like the lowest level here. <laughs> Partially because I am.
we got gypped. It's Titan. That was almost terrible. Titanic waste of time. Wrong Titan. Oh, well, they're probably worrying about you, Alex. They probably are. Man. I'm worried about you. Caesar's worried about you. Don't feel bad, man. If you're not feeling good, it's good to let it out. Yes. I'll be walking over and turning on my lamp here in a second. come over and talk to you till nine in the morning if need be if I knew where you lived talking to me about not doing stuff like that. I think you're a little encased in rock right now, dude. Oh, gosh. Ah, oh, dang it. Didn't get it. Time. Does he get him up first? Aguero is your raise. Dude, how come you didn't switch cast? Oh, Alex. Yes, Death Monster gets snacks. Dizzy's a new healer, KG. Dang it. And especially new to Sage. I've been encasing granite. It's alright. Everybody has, everybody's gotta start somewhere. Yeah, he's Sage. Yeah. All right, we all ready. Give Dizzy one second. Okay. That's what I was asking. Go for it. Go ahead, man. Guys, I'm gonna do something here really quick. That's okay. I'm. I was just taking a swig. Guys, I'm gonna do something here really quick. That's okay. Pulling up my YouTube chat just in case. Shield dot and yes. 
So Terria is good to for an emergency heal on whoever your Cardia is with. Um, All right, we're what's just up, waiting on, uh, KG? Alex. He need macros as well. Oh! Um, Dizzy, are you clicking on each individual person? Okay, uh, before we get started, if you go to Keybinds, this is how I have it set up, so you can take it or take it however you want to. Um, but for targeting, when in targeting people that are in my party, um, I have each individual person set to my number pad. So I have the myself as one. The t uh, next person on the list, too. Yeah, so as you can see here, I did it on my uh, 10 key. And I have it set to that for... On purpose. Because <laughs> otherwise, I am going to be confused. <laughs> I need to do that. So it's an easy way that way if... No. If I have to go through the list, I can quickly tab some uh, target somebody really quick. And it's not that big of a deal. I, I don't on everybody too. But then again, I use the actual uh, party list that's off to the side. Yeah, that's another way is you can actually use the party list to select people. Do whatever is comfortable for you, I always recommend, but for me, I don't have that kind of reaction speed to click on everybody. That's why I did the, uh, 10 key. I just sometimes end up forgetting that I have it. But if you can find a way... The party list is a good one. Yeah. When I first started healing, I used the mouse over macros. I've heard of people who do that. I don't know how to set up macros, though. <laughs> I, I don't know how to do that either. Keep my oh. cursor over the party list, and I just use the hotkeys on my mouse for spells. Oh, you have a gaming mouse? That works. An MMO mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Some people do. I don't. I don't have that. I've been told I should get one. I've never actually thought of getting one. For some people, it's faster. Because then you're just pressing the buttons with your thumb. Fair. Yeah, you gotta pay attention, dude. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of important. Make sure you have a, actually, now that you brought that up. Nope, I have all of mine. Wait, why Are we is all ready to go? That's the jump backwards, I'm gonna do that one. I'm good. Oh, I get that one through my class quest. That's right. <laughs> Fair. Alex, you ready? Yeah, Alex, you rip. Wait, there's a difference between a gaming mouse and an MMO mouse. I guess that would make sense because you have your hotbar on your...
You're fine, man. Wow, one through twelve. All right, Dizzy, Alex, you ready? You're good, Alex. No reason to say sorry, especially if it's mom aggro. We won't blame yeah. you for that. Mom aggro is important. <laughs> I don't know if it's mom aggro. It might be mom concern. Yeah. yeah. I use aggro as um, when she pulls you away. They have buttons on the side of it. The number 1 through 12, apparently. I saw that. That you can use in place of your hotbar. Oh, you were talking to uh, KG? Mm-hmm. Okay. We all ready? I've seen those. Here, I'll do this I'm ready. For some people they are, for others they're not. Everybody's yeah. different, KG. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm uh, okay with it. That was just a Titanic loss, dude. <laughs> it is simple. I know if I got lost in that, if I had an MMO mouse. I always thought you could roll out better puns than that, man. He just didn't have all his spells out. That's all that was. Out. I missed a Alex joke. Ah. That's all right, Alex. That was a pretty good one. Yeah. I'd call it okay. Ah! It's not his usual good stuff, but he's getting there. For a second there, Dizzy, I thought you were about to get yeeted. <laughs> that looked like it to me, too. <laughs> I was so scared. It's like, oh no, Dizzy's gonna go bye bye. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't, or I'm so sad I don't have hollowed ground right now. Oh no, Alex is getting in the poop prison. For a second there, I thought I was going to get yeeted at that point. Because <laughs> I forgot to move. Apparently I was just safe. He does not like you for some odd reason, Alex. Well, at least if he ever aims a yeet that way, all Alex has to do is stay in the granite jail. Right. <laughs> Good night. The one bonus of being inside that uh, granite gowl. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to worry about getting yeeted. <laughs> yep. 
that's about it. By the way, before we do the next one, did anybody want to do tanking? Because I just don't want to... I'm willing to stay a tank. I just... If somebody else wants to, I don't want to deprive them of it. Go naval hard now, right? Yeah. Yawn. Go to the FF store later and find out how much that is. I can hold my buttons a little bit there. Nope! Got it. We're good. Actually, I was thinking about doing something here really quick. But it's alright. Fair. Yeah, you kind of want that it. Uh easily accessible as a healer you want it easily accessible but not in a spot where you're going to be bumping it every five seconds by accident <laughs> yeah that is true because you know i need to raise somebody oh wait i don't have swift cast I get that. I mean, the way I look at it, everybody has their little tricks that work well for them. So do what you need to do to make it easy on yourself. Yep. That's why I did what I did for mine. I used the num uh, number pad because it was easy. It made it easy for me to get, be able to click on everybody. And well, I had it in my hotbar too, number four. So every time I went to a group shield, I kept hitting swift cast because I would <laughs> hit control. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's, no, that's not a good idea. Dude, that's a cool. That's not good. All right. So again, I'd like to ask because I didn't quite get any responses. I mean, I want to level my tank, but I'm also kind of looking to level my uh, Dragoon right now. Still, that's... Uh, Alex, did you want to tank at all? Dizzy's trying to learn Sage. Yeah. That's what I was asking Alex. Warrior go burr? What? Warrior go burr? Thinking. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Which one? That one. I don't have a very high level for my <laughs> warrior. I think it might be just above 20. Yeah, it's 21. Warrior, come out to play.
sir. You're not wrong. That's about the only other one that I can do. That'll give us a decent range. Otherwise, it's me pulling over my other character. And I can just say, pick whatever you want to be. Oh, we're doing trial roulettes, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's Levy! That's right. She's a. Uh, I might hop off after this as well. Yes, I'm a red mage. Hmm. But not res mage yet. No, you don't get res mage until 64. Forget how long the freaking like that you can get LSA's attire, but the one thing that sucks about it. can't separate the pieces. It's all one outfit. I know. That has been one of my biggest complaints for a while now. Same with Gaia's. I thought Gaia's was one of them. Oh no, it's not. It kind of looks like it should be a all one piece, though. No, it is one, all one piece. That's like my biggest complaint about it is, is that I can't separate it out because I want her shoes. Oh. 
I want this one. Because this is the one that doesn't like physical damage. Why are you being mean to Pondo, KG? Also, why are you choosing aggression tonight? That was delayed. You just all killed. Acidic Dragon, that's a cool name. I like that name. It just relays something and I'm, it makes me really sad. I don't have my gap closer. Laid on uh, hitting the button. Thank you, KG. Also, I'm way too used to being level 90 and doing this unsaint. <laughs> you challenge me with trickery? Oh, I want it over there. I think you I want the tail. Actually, as a melee, you're not really having to be very picky. One had a uh, physical resistance, one had it. Physical ranged. Oh. That was a my issue because I did it too late.
Mm. There's a puppy in my room. Puppy. Some step hovers. Okay, sure. Um, I'm gonna call it here, guys. Okay. Yep, that was not your fault. That was me. I was delayed. Yeah. I'm just not feeling it as much as I normally do tonight. Sorry, guys. No worries. So I'm gonna leave the game right now. I know Dizzy said that that was his last one because he has to go to bed. Yeah. But I will stay in the call because I... I want to make sure that we, at least a little bit more, that Alex is all right. Because mm -hmm. I am concerned, dude. Um, Definitely not fun. Yeah. That's not good. We're gonna pop onto the Power Watch simulator. There you go. Something relaxing. That takes 10 hours, but it's relaxing. Oh. <laughs> also, almost the duel of the uh, cat boys. <laughs> Have a good night, Dizzy. Night, man. Be careful with those nicotine patches, man. Yeah. You don't. We don't need you going uh, back to hospitals. No. Oh, Final Fantasy V is on Steam. I just yes, saw it. it is. It's very much fun. My mage isn't bad, and that was a watermelon. What the heck? <laughs> I'm being random, but the person has the green uh, node. Yes, a lot of FF games are on uh, Steam. He is white mage. Alright. Oh, yeah. So let's see how far I can get on this. Time to move on to main scenario. So extreme. Mm. Also. Um, that's your opinion, KG? Just wanted to point that out. He knows. I don't mind Scholar, actually. Um, okay. No, uh... At least in my opinion, it's actually better to use that one when people aren't in the bad. The better group heal for when they're bad is um, Polos or 
the actual combo that goes with pe that one where you do that and then it go immediately combo into Pepsis, but that that one takes a while because you gotta set it up. Yeah, I know. With each class gets changes with uh, patches. Yeah. Or well, they can. You know, not everybody does high-end content either, KG. Casual players are a thing. I know you don't want to admit it. <laughs> Is he one of those people? No, he's... Yeah, I know. Well, you do more high-end content than any of us. We're all super casual players. Most of what I do is... Uh, I want to be hardcore later, right? <laughs> try to complete it once. That's usually the extent I prefer to go with... Uh, High-end content. And I've seen sages, or scholars do high-end content, too. Um, I've done, uh, use my scholar in rather high-end content. I don't know if I've used it in current high-end. As Moonbrita was a native to, of Charlian, I feel it's only fitting that we gather before the mark of the scholar. Are you familiar with the stone? Oh, this is after her. Mm-hmm. Passing. Which sucks. Tis a mon mon monument found at Rathfrost and is sacred to Thaliac, guardian deity of the City of Learning. Okay. There shall we pray for our dear friend's soul and bid her a peaceful return to the light of the Mother Crystal. Actually, to be fair, I used to suck as White Mage in almost anything heal, healing. But I'm getting better. I'm not the best, but I'm getting better. She's better than me. I still to still think I suck to some degree. But every class can technically be considered a work in progress. I'm not healing that, though, KG. I refuse. <laughs> at least until I've cleared it at least once. I don't know. I feel more comfortable as DPS when I run things for the first time. The only reason why I did uh, EX5 the first time as a healer was because they already had all the DPS they needed when I ran it with Jay. I don't think I'm that good of a healer. <laughs> okay.
Oh, thank you, Skippy. <laughs> Hearing you two say that makes me feel better, but I don't think I'm that good of a healer. <laughs> Forgive me, Moonbreeder. Had I been quicker or wiser. But I was not. And you paid the price. I just but forget to heal, suffer us to wallow in our heal myself song, more specifically. You? Yes. You would tell us to pick ourselves up and get on with it. And so we shall. We shall defend this realm and her people to the last. Life for death, a fair exchange. Other bargains will be struck. Yeah. Fair enough. Actually, the other thing that I was thinking about running a uh, high-end content as is my paladin. That does sound kind of cool. Though we have said our farewells, the pales, a pale of sadness is diminished but little. Forgive me, as antecedent it, it is, tis my job to be the pillar of strength for all others to lean upon. Yet I also believe the grief we feel now is precious in its own way and not to be lightly swept aside. Do you not agree, Sierra? I feel like I want to change this character's name. What would you cha change it to? I don't know, that's my problem. Tis as if a dagger has been thrust into my breast. But tis a pain we must learn to bear if we are to forge ahead with our duty. The battles we have fought have taken the lives of so many, Luiswa, Moonbreeder, our fellows at the Waking Sands. Their spirit and dedication to our cause, however, will never be lost as long as we rise to fight once more. I hardly need to rem remind you of this, of course. It is for my own benefit that I repeat these words, a reaffirmation of mine own chosen path. KG, is there a character you don't hate? Of course, him. <laughs> if I do not rebuild the foundation of my resolve, I am alike to collapse in a fit of weeping. You're just a secret villain in disguise, aren't you, KG? My apologies again, Sierra. They thought he was the bad guy. 
I mean, for the longest time he came across. Remind me who saved us in the realm of the bird. I know, Xenos did. Just so he could fight you. Just so he could fight you, yeah. I mean, he did destroy an entire country just to fight you. Yeah, see? How do I'm you sorry. think? That, no matter what else, he... He... F he fought us. He did all that to fight us. <laughs> they don't hide that. Don't get me wrong, I do miss him. He was actually a good character. My apologies again, Sierra. There I'm is sorry, no other Alice to whom I could display such weakness. Um, Lise. Heck, I'll pick Kian. <laughs> I love that name. KG. Wait. So, hold up. Breaks. Ash hates everything cute. And Apparently KG doesn't KG. like emotional people. <laughs> Actually, he doesn't like anybody that's good. That's taking it a bit far. Not in my opinion, but that's me. <laughs> I'll take Lee's, I'll take LSA, I'll take Ashtola. Anybody but Xenos. Heck, I prefer... Actually, I can't say that because she'd probably be my number one if she were still alive. Isail. <laughs> yes, Isail. The only thing that I don't like ab about Lise is that she's lied to me the past six months of my life. I mean... KG preferred her as Ida. I know that. I actually like when she takes the mask <laughs> off. You are I my pillow of strength, and I fear I shall have need of your steadfast presence in the days to come. A victory won, a comrade lost. To honor the fallen, the living forge ever on, towards the light of a new day. Everybody preferred her as Ida, but the thing is, I love is she really hasn't Zeno, Sacred, all that much. Amric, Raubon. <laughs> I love how you had to tag that in there. <laughs> I heart you, KG. <laughs> And that's only a joke of anybody who knows wh who's ever watched Jay's streams. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Not a cult. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Wait, what's this about a cult? <laughs> See, did you go and join a cult and not tell me? <laughs> I, I'm your brother. I kind of have to oh, need yeah. to know the thing. <laughs> Skippy, the cults are fun. <laughs> Fandonia and Lilithus. All right. And I skipped over that on purpose. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was good. <laughs> oh man, that was good. And he keeps saying it too, that's the funny part. Um Oh, I know which room. I'm not on the right server for that. 
it won't take long to get over there, but I'm not on the right server for that. Unless they have it in the, uh, current one. <laughs> Didn't he change that recently? Or did he put it in, did somebody put it into his house? Or did they change it again? Wait, he did? Now I'm gonna have to go look. Apparently, C went and joined a cult and didn't tell me. It's an inside joke. It literally is. Oh, well, reason. yeah, I know about those. He gave me one. So the inside joke was is because Jay kept saying Emmett sex instead of Emmett sulk. <laughs> And so, um, and then we started doing this whole cult thing where everybody would dress in this, the robes that let make you look like you're a part of a cult and dancing around his house. They actually did one where they did a dance around his uh, house and made it look like it's on fire. <laughs> but it was all in fun and it was funny to watch. Pretty sure all streamers have secret cults. I mean, you're probably not wrong. I don't know, I don't think I would. And Jay I saw it, count. nice. <laughs> I don't have a, ho a room in the FC house, but I probably should get one. I have the gill for it now. On both characters. Right? What's Gil? What's that? I don't know. Philia has a request to make of you. Have you a moment, Sierra? I believe Ida wished a word with you. I should consider it a personal favor if you would lend a sympathetic ear to her troubles. She has not been herself since Moonbrita's passing, and my heart aches to see her so downcast. <laughs> I mean, you did just buy a house on your main and decorate it. Or at least start decorating it. I need to have a housewarming party now that I thought about it for mine. No cult members. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's Sierra! Great! Oh, it's no use. I'm trying to stay positive, but... It's just hard, you know? The thing is, I know Moon would tell me off if I sa if she saw me moping around like this. I know he cleared it out. Last I knew he had the uh, crystal tower chair, but I didn't know if he left that in there or not. Which is why I decided to cheer myself up by getting her a special flower. I placed an order for a moon daisy f with Rowena a little while ago, and it's ready to be picked up. The trouble is, I find Rowena a bit difficult at the best of times, and well, this isn't one of them. I know it's silly, but 
I just can't face it at the moment. So I was wondering, do you think you could make me collect it for me? I have the coin to pay for the flower right here. Of course. Thank you so much. I'll be waiting for you in the daisy at Wraith Frost. I can't say it. Words, they're hard. I'm thinking, if I remember correctly, shortly after this is when we finally get Steps of Faith. Which is a solo instance now. It feels so weird. Which dungeon are you on, Skippy? Ooh, Hulk Manor! What can I do for you today, adventurer? Eldritch trinket to trade? Eh? They've got you running your errands now? <laughs> Them scions really know how to make the most out of your talents, don't they? Send in the savior of Eorzea to the bleeding market. Fine use of your time, that is. Seriously, though, you'd best learn how to say no, or they'll have you mu- Getting out the Chocobo stables. stables next. Anyway, what was it you were here to pick up? The moon daisy, was it? Here then, take it. And tell that Ida, lass, I've got a wide selection of headwear in stock if she ever decides to replace that dowdy old mask of hers. Gods know she needs to. I think that's the real reason she didn't want to go. <laughs> yeah... Honestly, I like her better without the head visor. I love this tree. Ugh, Rowena can be so annoying. She just will not take no for an answer. Every time I visit her, she insists I replace my visor with something more fashionable. And when I tell her I like it just fine the way it is, she says it again and then again. It drives me crazy. By the way, today is the last day to travel to other data center. You can't travel anymore until next patch. That's right. Don't we have uh, maintenance tomorrow? Yeah, I think it's 10 or 11. Oh, what I mean to say is, I really appreciate oh, you doing this for me. So I anyway, let's something. see to it. Let's see it. So I don't get trapped. I need to put Sid back on his home home uh, data center. I'm gonna finish this up and then do okay. that real quick. I mean, Brita loves these things, you know. I hope that somewhere, somehow, she knows I'm still thinking of her. I'll never forget you, Moon. None of us will. There we go. The song riseth to a crescendo. Is 
that what I think it is? Hello, can you hear me? We have received grave tidings from Ishgard. Pray return to the Rising Stones at once. Pray return to the Waking Stones? I mean, Rising Stones. Love that it shows you f running off, but you don't really move. My apologies for the interruption. I was deeply saddened to learn of Mubrita's passing. Her loss will be sorely felt. Alas, recent developments in Ishgard leave us little time to mourn. The envoy from Kurthus will soon arrive, and we must hasten to hear her report. Oh, you're almost to... Uh... Yeah. The envoy is here. Lucia! Work on the third so I can get ready and play on the fourth. Nice! I thank you for receiving me at such short notice. Time is of the essence, so I would forego the usual pleasantries if I may. Certainly. You come with news of the Javanians. Aye, the dragons have begun their attack in earnest. The first wave reached the central highlands a short while ago. Battle was joined soon after. So Emmerich himself sail sallied forth with the contingent of Temple Knights and several companies of the noble house's finest. Though the beasts were ultimately forced into retreat, our victory, if such it may be called, came at, with the, at the cost of many of our own. Too many. Thank you. I'm almost to one of the scenes that'll make me cry. We will not withstand a second wave should the Dravonians renew their assault. You paint a grim picture, my lady. It is reinforcements you seek then? Thank you. We do. Though it pricks our pride, it is plain we cannot protect Ishgard with our ranks thus thinned by the Horde. Sir Emmerich would meet with you to discuss the possibility of enlisting your aid. Very well. I shall depart for Kurthus at once. I must warn you, however, that the involvement of the Crystal Braves is by no means assured. Our commitment to quelling the unrest in Uldah must take precedence. It is with such contingencies in mind that I must make another request. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn are known for sharing close ties with all three of the Grand Companies of Eosia. Would you consent to plead our case to their leaders? Hmm. Though I will gladly appeal to the Grand Companies on your behalf, I dare not promise a favorable reply. You need say no more. Considering our past dealings with the Eorzean Alliance, I can well imagine how our plea will be received. But the fate of Ishgard hangs in the balance, and we must explore every avenue still open to us, no matter how unpromising. I see. Very well. I shall send envoys to each of the Allied Nations, and have them present your requests directly to the heads of the Grand Companies. 
In the event that your plea does not does receive a favorable answer, know that any support is certain to be conditional. Demands will be made of Ishgard. That is the is only to be expected. Rest assured that I speak with Sir Amrick's authority in this matter, that our actions are fully sanctioned by the Holy See. Which brings me to my final request. I have a personal appeal to you, Warrior of Light. The Lord Commander so much desires to speak with you, regardless of your fellows in Volumlight. You faced Midgard Zorma and survived. Anything you can share your experience Anything you can share of your experience may yield us an advantage of over our foe. I keep tripping over my tongue. Thank you. Mm. You wear the mantle of a hero well. It would seem the ro road leads us both to Camp Dragonhead. Seek me out when you arrive, Sierra. That one. That one of these, and of these are one. That's that one. Yay! Eat so really quick. The sons must answer for their father's misdeeds. Only then will the cycle be broken. Brothers and sisters of the heavens, we raise our voices and join you in the chorus. The sinner's feeble magics are undone. Come, claim your retribution. <laughs> You a tuckered puppy. Chill. Mm. Hello, persons. Oh, I think it's a Skippy. No, that's not Skippy. Is there a Skippy in voice chat? No. The Starlight. No, Starlight. It seems I was the swifter, Sierra. You too, however, have arrived with the time to spare, for our host has yet to make an appearance. The members about camp tell of some manner of trouble at the what gates the of heck? judgment. In the Lord Commander's absence, I suggest we visit the pl place and find out what is afoot. See, did you see the voice text chat by Alex? Wait, what?
Thank you. <laughs> if you have ink and any else. I w Sorry, Alex. I was not looking in Discord. My bad. I feel terrible. You're good, Starlight. Yeah. And you're good as well, Alex. I just... I saw that and I was confused. All right. Time to go here. But thank you for clarifying. Oh, other way. Also, I spelt that wrong. I just realized. Well, that's good to hear. That is. That's really good to hear. <laughs> Thank you. When I laid eyes upon Lady Iceheart, I felt the marrow freeze within my bones. The gates of judgment are much more than mere doors. They are the outermost layer of Ishgard's magical ward. If our first line of defense can be so easily shattered... Uh, somebody signed in and then gave me another million gil from our own... Uh, Uh, FC, G's FC. Free money, yes. I was also told to stop wasting my gill. Heretic scum, how dare they meddle with our divine protections? I shall. Rid our nation of their blasphemy, even if it means cutting them down one by one. But, but we need not fret over much. There are yet several layers of arcane protection that shield the city from invasion. Mother will be fine. Yes, KG. <laughs> Thank you for the gill. Would seem the heretics struck the first and most telling blow against Ishgard. Scions, we expected you at Captain Dragonhead. My apologies. Have a good night, KG. Night, KG. We chanced to hear that there had been trouble at the gates and thought it prudent to investigate the cause. Then you have learned of the heretic's treachery. Lady Iceheart led a force of fol her followers against our defenders and came close enough to dispel the first of our wards. But let us speak more of this back at camp. Ceramic awaits you. Lady Iceheart has grown bold indeed if she would risk direct action against the city. Come, let us do as we were bid and return to Camp Dragonhead. Lord Orshafant will oh, know where we Sir Amaric means to receive us. We lost an Alex. Yes, we did. He's probably going to talk to others. Oh boy.
I just hope he gets feeling better. It looks like he's feeling a little bit better. Uh, he's back. It is reassuring indeed to behold the countenance of a friend when one's homeland teeters upon the very brink of disaster. Though a simple misstep could send us plunging into the abyss, our her your heroic presence stokes the flames of courage within my heart. Ah, but you did not come to Dragonhead to listen to my prattling. The Lord Commander has arrived and would treat you with you in the intercessory. Madam, I sh shall I now show you inside? Fair enough. Sorry, Amrick. Need to go do some digging. Thank you for coming with such haste and apologize for my absence. Suffice to say, excuse me. Take two. Suffice it to say, Lady Iceheart and her heretics have much to answer for. Yes, we are but recently returned from the Gates of Judgment ourselves. Hey, look, Alex, it's your dad. Given the circumstances, we quite or understand if you would prefer right. to postpone our appointed audience. On the contrary, Master Afano, I think it more important than ever that this meeting take place. Rest assured, I shall return to my post on Ishgard's walls the moment our business is concluded. Before we move on th to the subject of reinforcements, however, I would introduce you to a close friend and stalwart ally, Vestinian. May I present to you Ishgard's Azure Dragoon. An impressive title, though I confess I know pre precious little of the Order of Dragoons. They are formidable warriors all, yet even among such masters of the lance, the Sinian is without equal. He, out of all the warriors of Ishgard, was chosen to wield the power of dragons and may thus contend with any Dravanian. You flatter me over much, Lord Commander. Ah, uh, it is you, but of course it is only fitting that fate should draw the two of us together. Well, now that we have all been introduced- I still love the fact that he's not good with money. <laughs> right, <laughs> let us proceed to the matter at hand. I would share with you what we have learned of Iceheart's design. As confessed by the heretics taken captive after the assault on the gate. Twould seem that Lady Iceheart and the Javanians share a common goal, the reclamation of Nidhogg's stolen eye. Nidhogg? One of the seven great worms? His name features prominent in your nation's history, though once defeated by the hero Halbreth. The beast is said to have terrorized Kurthus since Ishgard's founding. <laughs> I many are the scars our walls bear from Nidhogg's relentless efforts to raise the city. The trophy Haldreth plucked from the bested worm skull, known simply as the Eye, is a treasured relic of Ishgard and one possessed of untold power. Should it ever be returned to Nidhogg, the dread creature would be restored to the height of his strength, and then no wall or ward we could erect would be stout enough to deny him. 
My vengeful son hath waged war against Ishgard for a thousand years. No mortal mind could comprehend the depths of his rancor. The eye itself is secreted deep within the vault. It is kept under heavy guards, surrounded at all times by men and women who have proven their loyalty to the Holy See. But those stout walls and sharp blades may suffice to discourage the heretics, the dragons are none another matter. There are individuals within the Dravanian Horde who an entry, entire company of knights would labor to, labor to repel, to say nothing of Nidhogg himself. Nor does age rob them of their strength. Through the endless march of years, the dragons endure, patient, calculating, inexorable. You must understand, these creatures do not share our perception of time. And that is especially true of the great worms. They who spend centuries in slumber, only to wake and resume their campaign as if mere hours had passed. It has been twenty years since Nidhogg last darkened our skies, twenty years for him to gather his strength and for us to bolster our defenses, and now, just as he seems primed to return the heretic strike at our gates. You believe that Lady Isod is in league with the creature then? Of that we cannot be certain. Though we know the heretics covet the eye, we have been able, unable to determine their plans for it. Such questions aside, we must needs address the ragged hole their mistress has seen fit to rend in Ishgard's protections. Tis a weakness the Dravanians are not like to leave untested. So it would seem, you have described your plight in a, an admirable detail, Lord Commander, yet I cannot help but wonder at your candor. Why, sh sir, why share such sensitive information with us? I shall speak plain. Ishgard has need of allies, and I would have you bolster our front lines in readiness for the coming battle against the dragons. This much I expected. Unlike our arrangement concerning the Keeper of the Lake, however, only you stand to benefit from our assistance in this matter. I fail to see why we should intervene in a conflict which concerns only Ishgard and Javanya. Will do. When the Eorzean Alliance requested Ishgard's assistance our, during Operation Archon, you refused us. Does it not seem grossly unjust to demand that we now risk our lives in your private war? I make no attempt to defend my country's conduct. I only ask that you consider what would follow were Ishgard to fall. Having raised our city to the ground, the Horde would have little cause to linger, and most would return to their lairs on Dravania soon Thereafter, the ruins of Curthus would be buried in snow, and the land would become the sole province of beasts and beastmen. Until the Garleans arrive, that is, for you may be certain that the Empire would not hesitate to claim Curthus. They would not even have to draw steel. An imperial province sharing a border with Mordona. Seven hells. <clears throat> Very well. We will assist you in repelling the dragons. The roar of a great worm may have shaken the firmament, but we of Eorzea will not abandon our Ishgardian brothers to, facing, to face the coming horde alone. Nor did I ever think you would. Now, upon the matter of the roar, allow me, Sir Emmerich, through the power of the eye, I have become a, the vessel of Nidhogg's strength. His essence has stolen into my very blood. 
Fear not, I am in full control of my facilities, I assure you. And the eye itself is of no relevance to this tale. It is not essential that I bear it with me wherever, wheresoever I go. Its lingering influence does, however, allow me to hear Nidhogg's voice. Then the worm who roared was Nidhogg, I. He means to hurl his horde against the Denethin collar and shatter the remaining wards that protect the city. There can be no doubt the worm has summoned his minions to war. I'm curious. Nidhogg. He is the source of our suffering. If we do not fell the worm, these endless clashes count for naught. I am painfully aware of the hypocrisy of our request and the self-inflicted nature of our predicament, predicament. But should it serve to deliver my people from their unkind fate, gladly shall I bow my head and beg for aid. I expect, nay, welcome the coming storm of scorn and disdain. We love you, Emmerich. Though the circumstances are far from ideal, the desperate endeavor will at the least provide us an opportunity to bring the sister states of Eorzea together in common cause. Sir Amric was more ruthless in his negotiations than I had anticipated. I suppose one must give no quarter when one's home is at stake. But did you see the look on his face when he formally requested our assistance? Though the Lord Commander has no long campaign for Ishgard to open its gates to outsiders, I suspect the softening of the Holy See's attitude towards foreign cooperation comes as something of a bittersweet victory. The days ahead promise to be interesting indeed. Alphana is ready to begin making preparations for war. Oh no. Yep, you're at that part. Don't tell me they're gonna force me to go straight from the steps of faith directly. Uh, to the bloody banquet. If we Did are you forget that part. The quest I'm on is committed to the cause, but the picture they showed was a celebration between uh the main scions, the main NPCs, and I'm sitting here going, "Oh crud! I'm gonna go straight from there to the bloody banquet." Yep. I know. But you go right from the Stets of Faith to those parts. Go right from the... If we are to aid the Ishgardians, and if it doesn't say, several cutscenes will play in sequence. You aren't quite doing... Oh, well, I know that. If we are to aid the Ishgardians in this war of theirs, preparations will have to be made. No, she's going to do the fight at the Steps of Faith. Before first. proceeding, however, we must needs return to the Rising Stones and make our report to the Antecedent. I know I'm not quite there yet, but I'm close. I 
I'm getting pretty close. Yeah. Alfino, it is good to see you. Tell me, what have you learned? Pray summon the others. Everyone must hear my report. I think she is right before they had the attack on the gate, the Steps of Faith. So this was all but a taste of what's to come. Indeed. The main host advances upon Ishgard as we speak. I can walk on this point. Whose vaunted defenses have been nullified. Shorn of its wards, the city will bear the full force of Nidhogg's fury. All those people. Alfino is right. The Dravanians cannot be allowed to prevail. If Ishgard falls, all of Eorzea will suffer the consequences. Then you agree that we have no choice but to intervene. For the good of the realm, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn and the Crystal Braves must join the defense of Ishgard. Let there be no ambiguity about what has been proposed. We would be directly intervening in the war. But if all here believe the cause to be just, then to war we shall go. The path we now embark upon is perilous, but I pray you will walk with us to the end. You can count on me. For those we have lost, for those we can yet save, Then it is settled. I shall inform the Council of our intentions and request that they contribute their own forces to the defense of Ishgard. I'm gonna try, but I don't know if I'll be able to. I know there's a lot of, uh... Post ARR stuff. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of stuff to get done for, mm -hmm. um... I do want to get at least Steps of Faith done. If I can get that done, I will call it well enough. <laughs> Volunteer Dragon Slayers. And then I'll hop back over and we can do more roulettes really quick. Which, the Steps of Faith aren't that far away, I don't think. As I recall, you do... Oh. 
You, uh... No worries. Itch. Right. Mephilia would have right. you assist with the preparations being made for the defense of Iskrad. <laughs> I'd get stuck on, ult on Ultras. Should the members of the Alliance agree to the pledge Grand Company soldiers to Ishgard's cause? Oh, I'm skipping over that. For you, my friend, a different task awaits. I would have you reach out to your fellow adventurers and gather what allies you may for the coming siege. I would also have you consider the matter of your own security. Revenant's toll is but a short flight for, from the snowfields of Corthus. It is not unimaginable that the fighting may spill across the border. Pray, brief Slafborn, on the brewing conflict and discuss potential contingencies. The frontier settlers must be a prepared for aught that might wing its way over the wall our walls. I only hope that such precautions prove unnecessary. Ah, uh, before you leave, might I suggest that you have Tataru accompany you? She has a talent for administration and a firm grasp of the practical challenges that we may encounter. Uh, maintenance doesn't start until the 3rd, so we don't have to worry about that. Wait, I thought that there was some... Wasn't there an alert for upcoming all-world maintenance? No, all-world maintenance on the 3rd to the 4th. It's temporary. In order to prepare for equipment replacement for the North American DC data center, the Homeworld Transfer Service will be suspended temporarily from Monday, March 27th through at 3 a.m. until the end of the maintenance to replace the equipment conduct maintenance on the infrastructure and implement patch 6.38. Please see all world, all world's maintenance, April third to the fourth, for details regarding the maintenance to replace the equipment of for the North American Data Center, conduct maintenance on the infrastructure and implement six point three eight. So it's all temporary. Yeah, it is. I noticed that. And it's the Homeworld Transfer Service. Hmm. We are rather close to Kerfus, aren't we? We'd best see to our own defenses and take stock of our supplies. Oh, we'll also need to have beds and bandages laid out, just in case. A good receptionist is ready for any eventuality. Let's go, Sierra. I have a hundred and one things to discuss with Slathborn. I appreciate the warning. If war is coming to Kerthus, then the toll must be made ready. I'll increase the number of patrols and lookouts immediately. 
all I'll also see about finding room for an infantry infirmary as well as a temporary housing for victims of the conflict. Ishgard has done well by us in the past and I would have returned the favor. But as for rounding up volunteers for the fighting itself, I'm afraid I must disappoint you. I will not send my fellow guild members to die on Ishgardian soil. I'm certain headquarters will say the same. There will be no official adventurers guild present at this siege. That said, each adventurer is of course free to do as he or she will. I shall have a word with some of my more capable colleagues on your behalf, and you might try your luck out here in Revenant's Pool. I dare say there are a few stout souls about town who will answer your call to arms. Let's get started, shall we? We have a town to rouse. Spare me your talk of glory and fame. I'm not in the habit of volunteering for lost causes. I've survived this long by trusting my instincts, and my instincts tell me to stay well away from Ishgard. Real! Ishgard sounds like she's in a right mess, but that ain't what I wanted to talk to ye about. I need ye to cast your uh, uh, mind back to the scuffle with the Empire out by the processing plant. A lad from Little Alamigo by the name of Wilred was there with the fourth that day, and I want to know if ye've seen him since. Have ye? God damn it, I feared as much. Nobody's bloody seen him. It's like the ground opened up and swallowed him whole. But that ain't all. Around the time Wilred stopped turning up for duty, then black market weapons went missing from our vault in Old Aw. So now, of course, half the Braves suspect that lad of making off with the goods. Folk like to believe our company's disciplined fighting force. Folk like to believe our company's di a disciplined fighting force, but as you and me both know, it's no more than a motley collection of mercenaries, adventurers, and grand p company volunteer veterans. The only thing as binding as us together is some vague oath about fighting for the freedom of all. That and the steady pay. Now, compared to the most others in this crew, Will Red's a fresh-faced novice. I bl a bleeding whelp amongst wolves. But the boy's got passion. When he talked about being a guardian of Eorzea, he bloody well meant it. A lad like him wouldn't rob us blind and bugger off like that. He ain't that type. And then, and this is just between you and me, mind there's the fact that the lad wanted to tell me about something queer he'd noticed in the ledgers. Something about the Braves' numbers not adding up? Aye, there's a villain at the end of this trail I've stumbled on. I'll bet it me good eye it ain't young Wilred. Any road, you've got a war to wage, so I'll let you get on. I just thought someone should know. I'll be seeing you, Sierra. Real, we love you. Yeah, but he wasn't wrong. No. <laughs> so Ishgard seeks cell swords to bolster its ranks, eh? I'm not sure I like the sound of the siege. Those nobles will surely be generous with their rewards. Ah, but I have pledged myself to the to guard a revenant's toll. Modest work though it is, I am loath to break the term of my contract. What to do, what to do. Uh, 
Sell me blade to the Ishgardians? Well, then dragons are fearsome, a fearsome lot. But I'd slay me fair share of if the coin was good. I have worked for one of them knights before, you know. Watched me like a bloody hawk, he did. Still, I'd put up with the with worse than that to, for a heavy purse. Volunteer my services in the defense of Ishgard? I think not. Dragons claim the lives of every one of my brothers. I do not mean to offer them mine. Twas to escape such a fate that I took up the mantle of adventurer in the first place. I would sooner die in per the pursuit of fortune than huddle behind an icy wall. We tried! There you are, Sierra. Do you sway any hearts? Maybe a couple. One or two, eh? Well, added to mine, that makes three or four, not including Slathborn's friends. We won't have the largest company in the army, but I'd say one of one Revenant's tall veteran is worth a dozen clanking knights at least. Taru has a message for you from Alphano. Oh, I've caught I've been so caught up with the recruiting that I almost forgot. There's been a word there's been word from Alphano. Apparently the Alliance leaders are convening in old odds to discuss Ishgard's plight. And they've requested your presence, as usual. Anyway, you'd best make your way to it, to Old Da, or uh, you'll be late. Alphano said that he would meet you in the Royal Promenade. Boop! Trying to think of a good uh, uh, name for her. My apologies for calling you away from your tasks. I had hoped to proceed with these negotiations one leader at a time, but it seems my urgent requests for an audience have prompted a gathering of the council. Needless to say, I felt obliged to attend. The Alliance leaders are already seated within. Let us join them, shall we? We are well aware of Ishgard's dilemma, and we agree with your assessment. Then I trust there are no objections to the Crystal Brave's intervention. Uda has not. Gridonia does not object. The Crystal Braves are yours to command, Alfino. Do what you will. We shall pray for your success. It was my hope that you would offer more substantial aid than prayer. I know it is within your means. Do not presume that you have knowledge of our every concern. The Garlians and the Beast Tribes are but two of many. 
We are not in a position to contribute greatly to the defense of Ishgard. Not when our own homes are still under siege. We dare not leave our interest in Cartano undefended as well. Telegi Adelegi and his ilk would seize control of the territories in our absence. The enemy is at their gates and you would cower behind yours? I don't like this. No one is cowering, boy. We will offer what support we can. Aye. Support. A handful of men and no more. Would that we could commit more than a token force to this cause. Yet there are others to whom you might turn. The free companies ever want for work. Ah, yes. The free companies. They're not like to turn you down. I beg your pardon? You would entrust the survival of Ishgard to sell swords? Alpha Crises now you're like a fool. <laughs> the very reason why this alliance was formed. It is our duty to aid our fellow man. My duty is to my country and my people. If you expect us to place the welfare of a foreign power above our own, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Lest you doubt, Boy. Limsa comes first, then the alliance, and finally, circumstances permitting, Ishgard and the rest. If you cannot understand so simple a concept, then you have no place at this table. Forgive me, Admiral. I was careless in my choice of words. I suggest you assemble a party of elite adventurers, assuming you haven't already. Your fellows served us well during Operation Archon. I dare say they will do so again. Of course they would. If I may, Your Grace, I wish to propose a redistribution of forces. If we entrust the security of Uldar to the Brass Blades for a time, we can dispatch a larger force to Ishgard. Your Grace? Yes. Yes, of course. Do what you will. No, no, no. Hugs. Is her grace not feeling well? To the best of my knowledge, her grace is in perfect health. I see. Carry on. I want to hug Nanamo. I want to give her a hug. She needs it. Once again, I owe you an apology. But I fear we haven't, we've been left with the little alternative. We cannot well abandon Lord Orshafont and Sir Amrak to their fate. We must abide by the Council's decision, as short-sighted as it is, and strive to fulfill our roles as Eorzea's guardians. Captain Ilbert, what news? Then, the assault has begun. We have at this moment concluded our audience with the Alliance leaders. Move our forces into position. 
Your unit will join House Thurinder and at Steel Vil Vigil. I can't talk. Man the cannons alongside the knights and within Dravanyan and within the Dravanyan horde ere they descend upon Ishgard. I will join you as soon as I am able. Sierra, I would have you and your adventure allies bolster the defenses at the Steps of Faith. Report to first to Master Marceline at the Gates of Judgment, and he will direct you to where you are mo needed most. May the gods grant us victory. And we are at Steps of Faith, which is a solo instance. Now. I'm gonna do this solo instance of a tank. Don't walk through the flowers. <laughs> step, step, step. You are the appointed captain of the Cell Sword contingent? Then welcome. There is no shortage of blade work to be done. As we speak, Dravanian skirmishing parties are hurrying positions across the Central Highlands. I have assigned the Crystal Braves and your fellow adventurers to contain these scattered attacks. And for the present, <laughs> I would have you join them. Awesome. This is, of course, so merely a precursory hours? to uh, the assault on Ishgard proper. The Wily, Ser Wily Serpents seek to divide and confuse our forces, and we will not be so easily drawn out of position. The Temple Knights will remain on the Steps of Faith and continue our preparations. When the Horde arrives in force, they shall face a wall of Ishgardian steel. Report back to me once their advance skirmishers are slain. I don't plan on logging him back on tonight. Sorry, I was talking to Alex. You're good. I will do more roulettes here in a little bit. I'm gonna get these few things done and then... Actually, I might switch over now. Oh, you wanted to get uh, Steps of Faith done. I do want to get Steps of Faith done. Because then after Steps of Faith, it will not be long before... No, it won't. Yep. I'm actually doing Power Washer. Fair enough. And for some reason, I'm doing the Forest Cottage. <laughs> Gosh dang it, this is a big cottage. Right. I want to ask this dude, was this supposed to be a cottage or a mansion to begin with? <laughs>
So you're the savior of Ishgar, and you're the savior of... Damn dragon! Etheris. You're the savior, uh, savior of Aeor's yet. My question, what are you going to be the savior of next? Right. Saved my continent, saved my place, home, saved my planet. <laughs> yeah. Saved a, an entire reflection of your planet. Uh, well, we're next? about to save I... another one. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, there's some irony about going up here. Why? Why here? Of all places, why here? My heart just sank. Why here? Yeah. I did cry. Savior of boredom. <laughs> I know. Well, I have to say, one thing I liked about Shadow Warriors, you turned the term being a warrior of darkness into a good thing. Yes. There is a certain amount of irony to this. <laughs> Get over here. Think you're important. Maybe. <laughs> I get it. Oh, you can't actually stick it there. That's weird. Wait, maybe it's gonna do this. There we are. The wrong side of the gate. I'm not really sure. I
What news, adventurer? The reinforcements? Decimated, you say? Dravonian devils, damn their scaly hides! Hold fast to your grief and fury, my lady. We will avenge the deaths of your fellows in the battle to come. The Steps of Faith. Sir Marceline wishes to prepare you for the Siege of Ishgard. Ere you commit yourself to the siege, you should know what it is you are tasked with defending. Beyond the gates of judgment lie the steps of faith, a great bridge of stone that leads directly to the city of Ishgard. More than simply a means to cross the sea of clouds, the bridge serves as a foundation for the arcane ward that for form the barrier we call Denethin's Collar. Alas, in dispelling the barrier's outermost that thrice damned witch I sought stripped the bridge of its protection, and thus are the dragons now able to land hindered, unhindered upon the steps of faith. Should the Dravonians succeed in destroying the remainder of the wards, the winged devils will be free to swarm within the city itself. Needless to say, we cannot suffer that to happen. It shall be our task as defenders to prevent any harm from coming to those parts of the bridge wherein the wards are sealed. Three yet remain, and we have dispatched our for forces accordingly. I would ask you and your comrades to accompany our defenders at the outermost ward. I should hope that includes us as well, yes? Hey, Pinkred. The Silence of the Seventh Dawn? We cannot well stand idly by while the Horde threatens to the good people of Ishgard. Indeed! To do otherwise would go against all that Master Louis Soir has taught us. As for where we may be of most assistance, I think it prudent we divide into two groups. Ida and I will join the rear guard. Right, if the dragons should reach us, we'll be sure to give them what for. Thank you, all of you. Pray speak with me again when your preparations are complete. Together we shall stand against the horde. Bang. Yay! Steps of faith gathered. Mm hmm. And Skippy is at, uh, Rayflux one stop. I'm kind of wanting to try this because it is a solo instance. Oh, that's right, they turned that into a solo. Uh -huh. We claim victory this day, or Ishgard falls. Fury into your heart. Defend this bridge with your might. Your blood, life's blood. But hey, close enough. Ah! Let's finish this quickly, shall we? Yes. <laughs> I can make it quick. I got out of the middle there. <laughs> that would have hurt.
Alright. Have a good night. Uh, have a good night, all. Can't even move. Ifa, to me. Yeah, I, I will be. I feel like we're hardly doing anything. What the hell? Hey, Asinian. No, oh, it's a devoted trigger and it's not Asinian. We are literally hardly doing anything here.
so interesting to hear her voice at, for um, when she's late later on here and we're not even to Stormblood yeah because when she's saying stuff in this fight because when she said this one will sting it was her Stormblood voice Yeah, I know. Oh, Astinian is here now. Nice! Ah, uh, hell no. Why are you so freaking suicidal, man? Yeah, I did see Lucia's health.
Yes. That's good to hear. I didn't feel the instance. <laughs> my tank is a dark magician girl. Oh my gosh. That was close. The dragons, they are withdrawing and victory is ours. One of Nidhogg's greatest champions slain. The Horde will not soon recover from this blow. But what of you, Nidhogg? Why did you not join your minions and make of this battle a slaughter? Have you grown so fond of the stench of your lair? Mayhap you prefer to have your allies fight your battles for you. You have a girl to do your bidding now. Do you not... No matter. I shall slay Iceheart and all the rest. But I yearn to spill the blood of a great worm, Nidhogg. Only your death will save my lands. Okay. Oh, that's done. For now, I log out. Oh. Let me return to Camp Dragonhead so that when I log out, it won't be a pain. I won't be doing a lot of them. Oh, that's right. Brain. I can come to Ultras. Let me log out really quick. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm tired. I'm not going to do a whole lot of them because I'm a little bit tired. I miss love work in the morning. Oh, no. 
Welcome back. I should get in the harvest, Ella, now that I think about it. I'm not dark knighting anything right now, though. idea yet. I might only do one or two things on this uh, one and then I'm going to be hopping off though. Because I'm tired. I saw that. She's the one who made me think of playing Harvestella because I saw that she, that's what she's playing. Yeah, we can do that. Just reminded me I also have to fix pro portrait.
That works. The danger zone. Limbs of Lamenta. <laughs> Riding to the danger zone. It's loading. Uh, yes. And here's... Why is it doing that? I thought I took that off. The dancer ones for er, Manderville, which I'm also loving. But those are literally the only two I have. Okay. Fair. Yay! <laughs> Pretty close. I just simply can't see her with short hair. Uh, currently doing normals. But we're over on ultros. Yeah, you want to join us, Skippy? I hear a puppy. Oh, hi. I'll unqueue us so that you can hop over here. And I'll go let a puppy out. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Ah, finally. Keep up. It, it is our death monster. So many cats. So many Miko. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Holy cow. All the Makote. Oh. Aha.
No go there. How was your stream earlier? Uh, I would much rather get hit by one, not both. That other ninja that is Alex. How did I die on that one? Did I have a Volt stack and not know it? I have no ability to res anybody, sorry. Uh, I, I cramba. I'm 
tired. How did I misread that so bad, though? Yeah, he's almost down. Yes, he did. Oh. All I want is the orchestrion roll. I don't care. Your chest, Skippy, has been stolen. Who hasn't voted yet? You're not here, but yes, you haven't voted yet. I didn't get any, but good job. Getting tired.
Hello, Etherite. Yeah, it was. I think we should move to a different area so it doesn't take forever to load. I can't go to my house on here. we can do. I'm actually curious. Way too dang expensive for some of that. Oh, this is a nice place. How in the world? <laughs> I 
Has to be a lava thing. Sure. Yeah, when it's not so late. Yes. I need sleeps. Wait, I had this earlier. Yes, it does. <laughs>
Yeah, I won't. But yes, I am hopping off after this. Big question here is who do we raid? Yeah, thanks guys. Uh, I guess we can go raid Zordon. Thanks everybody for stopping by. We will do some more Final Fantasy tomorrow. And thank you all. Love you. Take care. Have a good night.